Back at like a crack with a bad habit. We out here. NYC with it. You know what I'm saying? Another Think Like a Woman episode. You heard? Okay, so today's Think Like a Woman episode is why women have male best friends. Now, once again, before we get to the damn video, make sure you smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to Taylor L Jazz Vlogs. Make sure you also follow me on TikTok. Same name, Taylor L Jazz Vlogs. Okay, so today's Think Like a Woman episode is going to be why women have male best friends. Now, I'm going to try to keep this one around like the eight, nine minute range. Okay, so let's see if I can do it because I do talk a lot. But I have dated women that have had male best friends. And me, personally, I'm not doing it no more. You got a male best friend? Skedaddles. Have fun with that. Now, there's a couple reasons why I think I have uh, I've ran into that, okay? Now, some uh, things that a woman have told me as to why they have uh, male best friends is because they don't get along with women very well. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Women, they're so catty. It, it, they make it seem like it's all support women and girl movement. Bro, girls are haters, bro. Girls hate on each other a lot. I ain't gonna lie. Girls are haters, and they show that. And, like, when they beef, they don't beef, like... Bro, girls will scream they want communication, but they don't communicate and especially don't communicate with their friends. Like, I've literally seen, I've watched female relationships, women relationships break down and deteriorate because they do not communicate with each other and tell each other what actually is going on. You know what I'm saying? And like all that, that estrogen, it's like, you know, when I feel like when men, it can get to a point if they really not beefing with each other, but they just don't like what's going on in that particular moment, they could duke it out real quick and they could probably still be friends. You know what I'm saying? Me, if I have to fight you, I'm probably not friends with you anymore. But like, there's guys that like, they could duke it out real quick and they still be homies. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but with women, it don't even get to the point where they fight each other. You know, by the time they fight each other, they're probably not going to be friends anymore. But they really don't just be communicating with each other. They, so women, they like to be friends with men because they just find it to be easier. And, and it's just a more flowing type of thing. Now, I did see on a podcast, a woman, uh, a podcaster has said, you know, don't trust her if she don't have no female friends because that means she doesn't know how to have emotional, uh, 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 maintain emotional relationships and, and, and solid, healthy relationships. Now, I get that, though. Like, that's kind of weird. Like, I, I have male friends, but I do have a lot of female friends, too. But, I, you know, it's probably mixed. But... You definitely should be able to have friends in your same gender. Like, why do you feel the need to hang around a bunch of dudes all the time? Like, what's like what's going on with you? Unless you already was raised around a bunch of dudes, that's a different story. But if you really can't keep a female friend or a woman friend, that's on you at that point. I feel like if, if there's several different instances where you were not able to keep a woman friend, then I don't know what's going on. But also, maybe it's, they just want to keep a string of dudes that they know that they'll never do nothing with. But there, that dude will event. If this is an attractive girl, that that male best friend and that male friend wants to have intercourse with you. I'm not, I'm not jacking otherwise. And they could tell you, oh no, I don't have intercourse with you. But say that woman throws it at them, they're gonna catch it. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm not doing that male best friend thing no more. Like I've dated a girl that she went, she ran and told her problems with me to the dude. Now the dude knows. I never even met the dude. I wanted to meet the dude, but the dude knows more about me than I know about him. And it's like she's been to his crib, dolo. Now, he didn't put no fear in my heart, but at the end of the day, though, it's like that whole male best friend thing. I'm not jacking none of that. Like, you have to have way more female friends than, than male friends. It's not happening. I'm just not, I'm not jacking none of that. You know what I'm saying? The, the, I know, but it's crazy. I, I really don't, I really know several women with male best friends, and I believe that a lot of times they think that that guy is 100% their friend. If, I, I don't find that two people are 100% friends if, if the case comes where, let's say, woman, man, if the woman goes to the man and says, yo, I want to sit on your eggplant, the only way y'all are 100% friends is if that man says no. If that man says, ah, okay, whatever, I ain't had intercourse in one minute, then y'all were never friends to begin with. And that's why I was like, but but is that's more likely to happen, like maybe like one or two times, because of the fact that there's that comfortability already there. Some guys will do that. They'll get super close with the girl just so say, you know, she's dating other dudes, whatever, in that moment of vulnerability, they're the ones that's there and that girl will turn to them. Yeah, I think it's weird, but there's some dudes that generally just like being friends with women. You know what I'm saying? And I, like I said, me, I probably can't have too many female friends if I'm not in a relationship though. Like, and I'm talking about like constant communication with, with my female friends. I can't have a lot of women friends if I'm not in a relationship because it's weird, especially because I, I like hanging around attractive people. 
in general. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, so if I'm hanging around attractive women, I don't want to like feel like I'm restricted to do anything with you or try anything with you because of the fact of our friendship level. If I want to do something with you and I and and I find you attractive, I'm gonna do it immediately. I'm not gonna like wait to become your friend or whatever. I'd rather see who you are first, see if I jack that. If not, then whatever. Maybe we can be friends afterwards. But I wanna see what's that hidden light for if that's what I wanted from the beginning. I'm not gonna be your friend and whatever and wait for that vulnerable moment. Like I when I was dating that girl, a couple different girls that had male best friends, like, but the main one that really like traumatized me with like no more male best friends is like he knew certain aspects of my vulnerability that I would never let him see me in in real life. You know what I'm saying? But he only knows because of her. And like that happens a lot, bro. If you have if, if your girl has a as a best friend, bro, or a close male friend, she either flirted with him mad times, that's hundred percent facts as well, or she has she has uh done something with him once or twice. Uh, or she's telling him all your business and she's running to him when she's upset about what's going on with you. And I'm telling you, that's just happening, bro. It's happening. This is fast in the life. You know what I'm saying? There was one, bro, apparently girl had a whole boyfriend, but me and her was on the phone all the time to the point where I didn't even think she had a, a, a man like that. We was on FaceTime all the time, had her as my damn lock screen. She's, she's, uh, not like her actual face, but like, you know, it was like a picture of her, like, you know, upper half, uh, on my lock screen. She knew that as well. Um, she uh, was, like I said, flirting with me all the time to the point that I felt like I was valid to to where I could just go pull up on her and, and you know, think that, you know, I don't know what was going to happen, but I just felt like it, it got to that point level to where we were such close friends that it felt like it was going past a friend level. That's how I, that's how I felt. And that's how, that's the level of flirtatiousness that it ended up getting to, right? So I ended up going pull up on Shorty and here comes her dude around the corner, swoops, kisses her. I'm like, whoa. So what happened to all that flirtatiousness and woo 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 right? So honestly, for him, he looked like the goofy. I'm definitely the goofy too, but you look like the goofy because you should probably figure out what your girl was doing as to why I'm here. Like, why do I feel comfortable being here? That's the main question too. Why do I feel comfortable being here? Because your girl had a male best friend or a, male, a close male friend that you didn't really know what was going on with. That's why me nowadays, you better have your best friend. If you want to talk about best friend, whatever, it better be a woman. It better be a woman. If you say you have a male best friend, I'm going out of here. I'm not dealing with that toxicity. I don't care if he's ugly, attractive. I don't care. Because at the end of the day, maybe it's not even about what you're going to do. It's about what this guy may want to do. Or the fact that he's just waiting in the, in, the, in the wayside for something to mess up. Like, oh, yeah, I'm here. I'm in the swamps. Like, he in a swamp waiting for you to, waiting for you to, 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 to mess up his relationship so he can try to slip in. Or maybe he can be the guy that was always there that the girl maybe realizes one day, like, oh, my gosh, I really wanted you the whole time. You're, all, you're, always, you're always there for me. Like, I don't know. I don't play that long of a game. You, I'm telling you, a girl, if she wants you off the rip, you won't know that off the rip. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you can do all these extra stuff to try to make her want you along, along the way. But at the end of the day, if a girl wants you off the rip, you're going to know, and she's going to make it very apparent. You can try to do all these extra things, chase her, blah, blah, blah. But you're really only going to make yourself an option. And nobody wants to be an option. I mean, I won't say nobody. But a lot of times, it's more advantageous if you know what's going on. Okay? So, a lot of times, men and uh, women have male best friends because they can't really keep a stable relationship with, with women. Estrogen and estrogen, sometimes it don't make a, a positive formula. Maybe they like flirting with, 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 with their male best friend. Maybe they actually want their male best friend, but they, they want their male best friend to want them. And the male best friend is not really showing that type of interest. You know, there's definitely very variations, but I ain't gonna lie, bro. Stay away. <laughs> I ain't gonna cap, bro. Stay away. Because that male best friend is getting flirted with and he knows all your information. I'm telling you, I got males as close homies that have close male of close female friends that have flirted with them have told all of their boyfriend's business and run to them anytime they have a problem. If your girl or a girl you're trying to court has a male best friend, stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Stay far away. Skedaddles. Dip. Set. And I'm not even talking about Jim Jones. I'm talking about Yachty. Get up out of there. Please. Make sure you hit that like button. I can't want to make this a little shorter video today because I'd definitely be talking for mad long, you know what I'm saying? So hit that like button. Subscribe to the Taylor L. Jazz Vlogs channel. Okay, subscribe. Uh, excuse me, turn on the post notification bell. But also follow Taylor L. Jazz Vlogs on TikTok. What you are For the clips of the episodes. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Taylor L. Jazz. Win the game. 
before the game beats you. Taylor out.